Today we're going to learn about joining tables. So we're going to begin by making our SSH connection to the server. That puts us at the dollar sign prompt, the Linux prompt, and we of course uh, type out the MySQL command or go up arrow as many times it takes to refine the command. It connects us to the local host with our username, password, and database name. And once there, we're at the MySQL prompt where we'll show tables. And we see that there are two tables in here now, FM Towns and Students. They're in alphabetical order. And if I did select FName, comma, Hometown, comma, Major from Students, I would see, I don't show the whole thing in the screenshot, but I would see all 21 records, the FName, the Hometown, the Major. But I'm going to change this up a little bit now. I'm going to just do select F name comma hometown. But what I'm going to do is say students.f name comma students.hometown. I didn't need to do that in the previous one because it knew what table we were using. But this time we're going to use two tables. And I'm going to add to it fmtowns.county. So we have the student first name, the student's hometown, and the county that they're from. Of course, some, not everybody's from Fulton or Montgomery County, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue. So, select students.fname, students.hometown, comma, fmtowns.county, from students join fmtowns. So, what I'm doing is I'm joining these two tables, but I have to tell them how I'm joining it. So, I'm going to say on students.hometown equals fmtowns.town. They don't have the same field name, but that's okay. Students at hometown, when they're equal, it's going to join those records. So when it finds a match, in other words. When I press enter, I find that only 12 people meet that criteria, though there are 21 students in the class, in the table. Matt from Broad Alban, Fulton, all the way down to Daisy from Canada, Harry, Montgomery. That's all we have are people that who actually live in Fulton or Montgomery County. Now I'm going to insert into FM Towns another town, Sharon Springs, which happens to be in Schoharie County. And I do that, and I rerun the query. I find that now Mark from Sharon Springs is also included in this table. Let's change it up a little bit. Same command, but I'm going to add the word left in front of the word join. That's a very special kind of join, a left join. And what a left join says is give me everything from the left table. And I have students left join FM Towns. So everything from the students table is going to appear. But it's going to join FM Towns. Same reason, students.hometown equals FM Towns.town. But what this means is everything on the left table appears. And only the matching data from the right table appears. If in fact there is no matching data, it just has the word null. Now you might notice Charlie from St. Johnsville doesn't have a matching county. And yet St. Johnsville is in Montgomery County. Well, let's find out why. When we do select star from FM Towns, where town like Johnsville, that is percent Johnsville, that means it has to end with the word Johnsville. We find that ID number 52 does have a town of St. Johnsville, but Saint is spelled S-A-I-N-T instead of S-T period. Now I can use my update command, update FM town, set town equal to ST period Johnsville, where ID equals 52. Notice St. Johnsville is string data, so it's in quotes, single quotes that is. And then when we rerun that query, we find that uh, Charlie from St. Johnsville is no longer null. Because he now has a matching county record in the FM towns. Now let's start this all over again. Select students.fm, I'm sorry, students.fname, comma, students.hometown, fmtowns.county, and fmtowns.town. So I'm taking four fields this time. But I'm going to say from students right join FM towns on students.hometown equal fmtowns.town. So that's going to take all the data from the right table. That's FM towns. And what we find is, because we're right joining, all records in the FM towns will appear. And if there's nothing matching, it'll just say null. But if there is something matching, like Matt from Broad Alban, it will show up. However, if you have multiple people like Bill, Michelle, and Andy, all from Gloversville, that will show up as three separate records. 
So it takes every record from the right table and all the matching records from the left table in this case.